We are in the materials and electrical components laboratory. We are part of the product assurance and uh, safety department and we predominantly support our space projects. I am the head of the component space evaluation and radiation effects section and in, uh, in my section we deal with um, radiation effects on Triple E components, electronic components. So we basically test the electronic components to make sure that they are suitable for flight in our spacecraft. The space environment is a harsh environment and one of the components of the space environment is high energy uh, particle radiation. These particles can adversely affect these components and in the worst case we may have a catastrophic failure of a component due to this radiation. So we have to know how the components that we're flying behave under such uh, environment. And that is what we are doing in our laboratory. We are simulating the radiation environment that we see in space. Before we start an irradiation test campaign, we first have to generate a test plan. What we do is we uh, set up and radiation experiment, we have uh, produced the boards uh, and the various measuring equipment that uh, needs to be used during the tests. And we will install this in the radiation cell itself. In the control room, we will initiate the radiation exposure. And that means that we will raise the radioactive source so that the components that are placed in the radiation cell are exposed to this radiation, which is in this case gamma radiation. Gamma radiation is highly penetrating, so it will uh, penetrate our components, and that is what we want because we are simulating the high energy particles that we have in space. And during the testing, we will uh, typically perform several electrical parameter measurements to uh, identify the drift that the component have with increasing radiation levels. And at the end of the test we can uh, say whether the component is working well for the environment that is supposed to be uh, flying in or whether the component do not meet our uh, requirements. The nature of the division that I'm working in is to support most European Space Agency uh, missions. Currently we are working on a mission uh, to Jupiter, which is called JUICE, where the radiation environment is much harsher than uh, what we see at Earth. So it is much more challenging because the components that you have to fly, they have to be able to handle much more radiation than uh, we normally uh, deal with. At the end of the day, the work we do is to help Europe be in the front, forefront of uh, uh, science and technology uh, related to, to space applications.